Hey guys, this is Jay Nolan, and I just want to talk a little bit about ICP. Now, many people think that ICP is a scam, and it's hard to argue with them because of the chart, but I'm just going to state some facts about the tech. While every other crypto is a coin on the internet, ICP is the internet and a coin. It's the only crypto that rebuilds the internet from the ground up. The tech is 100% real, and you can't compare it to any other project. If Ethereum, Solana, or Cardano are layer ones, then ICP is the very first layer zero. It's the only crypto that can host its own internet. Yes, there have been scammers and manipulators who extracted from the eco, but the tech itself is not a scam. With the price being this low, now is probably a good time to get exposed to it. This is not financial advice. Now, crypto has not evolved in the past 10 years except for stupid shit like NFTs, meme coins, and shitty shitcoin DeFi. But with ICP, there's a brand new paradigm here because they've created a new species of software, software that lives entirely on the blockchain. Uh, this is why it's being suppressed on purpose, in my opinion, uh, is because ICP offers a brand new tech stack. The front and back end are all in one spot, and there's no other way to host a website or app with less third parties involved. Developers can now build in a brand new way that takes power away from corporations. So yes, there are some centralizations with no providers and voter power distribution on the NNS, but their alternative is being completely controlled by a centralized web service provider like Amazon, Google, or whoever, Microsoft. Now, one of the reasons people call it alien tech is because ICP is the only decentralized web service provider. Everything is built entirely on its blockchain. It's the only crypto that doesn't need any web two for anything. All its websites and apps are 100% on chain, which makes them tamper proof. Now, most other projects can't even put a JPEG up, but ICP is already doing entire AI models. That alone is huge because AI needs guardrails for itself and from hackers. And Bitcoin has never been hacked in the past 16 years because of blockchain. Now that software is on the blockchain, it has the same hack proof security. Now this technology competes with almost everyone. It can eliminate the need for cybersecurity, which is some people say is like a $10 trillion a year uh, cost to businesses. And when comparing to other cryptos, every other project is just a primitive payment ledger. It's like comparing a calculator to a gaming PC. Now some projects like Ethereum and other layer ones, they do have logic on chain for their smart contracts, but the smart contracts are just for payment ledgers too. So whatever you might say, what do you mean? There are some cryptos who are building things like video games. Well, here's the thing. Uh, these video games are just on web two and they have a cheap little payment ledger attached to it because they hope that they can make money by saying it's a crypto. Like even the NFTs are just URLs to JPEGs hosted on websites that are just web two. And that's why they get hacked all the time. No other project can fit an entire video game on its blockchain other than ICP. Affinity, they have over 200 top level professionals, people with PhDs, masters and postdoctorates in computer science, mathematics, economics, physics, electrical engineering, algorithm design, cybernetics. Now these are people who worked at Google, Amazon, YouTube, Microsoft, IBM, Nvidia, Twitter, Blizzard. These are people who've worked for the government, NATO, ivory schools on almost every continent, banks, stock exchanges, crypto exchanges, and some are self-made web entrepreneurs like Dominic Williams, the founder who created Fight My Monster in 2013, where it had over two and a half million users. Uh, now, what does Definity have to show for it? They're, they've built the fastest blockchain in the industry with 1300 transactions per second, and that's real time. And they have a proven max speed of 25,000 per second. This is faster than Solana. And ICP has never had any downtime. Solana has had over 10 outages, I think. And Definity is the team, they, they invented pass keys. They created the very first crypto re reverse gas fees and they figured out how to put data on chain and decentralized compute. And one of the other things I'm most excited for is vet keys, which offers a whole new level of privacy that developers can integrate into their software. And it seems like Definity just never stopped releasing some gangster shit. There's breakthroughs almost every single month. You just follow them on your feed and you'll see. If you look at their roadmap, it's 20 years long and we're not even a quarter of the way through it. So don't listen to these morons who only look at the charts, look at the actual tech that's being deployed. ICP is way more ahead of anybody else and actually use their stuff. It's very streamlined. It's very advanced. There's nothing more advanced than it. The smart contracts on ICP, can they can sign transactions on other cryptos. This means ICP has layer two services and can onboard as many cryptos as they want. And it's all done 100% on blockchain with no bridges. And this is a big deal because bridges are always getting hacked because bridges depend on custodians who are just basically centralized third parties who use off-chain tools to try to scale slow projects. ICP will never need bridges. It's already the fastest and they have near instant finality, which extends to every single one of their layer twos, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. And it's infinitely scalable. If traffic gets too large, they can create as many subnets as they want and they can add as many node machines as they want. And another great feature is this decentralized architecture. The node machines are hosted in large data centers with intense security. But even if someone were to get access to them, they can't physically access the data because it's protected with cryptography. This means there's no centralized hardware 
software vulnerabilities. If a node machine goes offline, the data leaps over to the next machine and it's fully retained. Even if an entire data center gets destroyed, the network stays up and running. So essentially ICP is bunker proof and they have no machines on every single continent nearly. Now the ICP blockchain also has no need for oracles because it can make direct HTTPS out calls. This means that it can be fed information from web two without relying on any other third parties like Chainlink does. But since ICP can create its own websites, it's, this might not even matter in the future. One of my favorite texts is the internet identity. This allows you to access apps anonymously while proving that it's you. So an analogy would be, imagine you were trying to buy alcohol at the store, but you didn't want to show your ID because it has your name and address on it. With internet identity technology, you can prove uh, that it's you and that you're the legal age without giving away your privacy. And you can keep it secure by using your fingerprints as a login or any other biometrics. They even have an AI that verifies you through the webcam. Now this is the future solution for getting rid of bots is verifying that people are actually people and it's only on ICP. And as long as it's open source, the public can audit the code, the code for any back doors. And as long as the code is 100% on chain, you know for a fact that that's the code that's, that's running. It's like going to a restaurant and being able to see inside the kitchen so you know what they put in your food. One of the beauties of blockchain is transparency and ICP is bringing that to software on a whole new verifiable level. The internet identity wallet is also how you participate in the DAO. When you lock up your ICP, you can vote on proposals and get paid free ICP as rewards. It's the least work you'll ever have to do for money. I've traveled Asia, Asia for seven months while collecting dividends and you can even auto set it so your vote follows somebody else making it almost entirely passive one that's uh, attached to the best technology in the world at, this, at the time for crypto and the future potential here is insane the DAO itself is amazing since the democracy is fully on chain it's impossible to stop what the people vote for other DAOs are just glorified polling machines they could have hidden back doors or developers they could just ignore the results but with ICP every vote is pushed through with unstoppable throughput with ICP crypto can now control software with an unstoppable democracy this gives way more utility than ever before. One day companies like Uber, Airbnb, or DoorDash, uh, they could be replaced with decentralized software that's controlled by crypto. Companies who give their stockholders power to vote can only be backed with the promise of the company or maybe face consequences of litigation. But when you own something through tamper-proof code, there's nobody who can stop it and there's nobody who can get in the way. And maybe the most important factor on ICP is that the data is secure. There are no, there are many corporations and governments who invade your privacy. They steal your information and they sell it to advertisers or they punish you and blacklist you for having opposing uh, opinions. ICP is all about digital sovereignty. There can be no censors unless the community votes something out through the NNS or the legal system of a country acts through a boundary node. But even then, they, they're only contained to the region that they control. So imagine building a livelihood online, one that feeds your family, and a corporation arbitrarily decides to unplug you. If you're anywhere but ICP, that can happen. You don't own what you've created because it's built on a centralized cloud provider like Amazon. They can shut you off whenever they want. Web service providers are the biggest monopoly that nobody talks about, and that's because your average person has no idea how the internet works. In my opinion, this is probably why ICP is being sabotaged. Crypto media does not report on it. I think YouTubers are being paid to fund it, and there's speculation that insiders are using leverage trading to keep the price down. Now, if you research the FTX attack at launch, the influencer Six Figs has a great video on it. I suggest you check it out. You can make up your own mind, but I suggest you do your own research on it and connect the dots. Now, ICP is also a new kind of currency, one that's backed by WebFuel. To host a website or app, you have to burn ICP, and this is the deflationary mechanism of the network. And one day it'll, it'll make ICP very scarce. Now, Bitcoin was the very first currency backed by computation, but uh, with all the energy it uses, it only provides a payment ledger. And don't get me wrong, I love Bitcoin, but in my opinion, Bitcoin isn't going to save the world unless it can scale safely. And ICP is the best layer one for that. It's the fastest, safest, and most decentralized layer two. And uh, the Bitcoin DeFi on ICP is actually blowing up right now. So that's another thing that you should check out. <clears throat> if you use one of ICP's wallets like OISI, it's 100% on chain. There's no other wallet in crypto that's secured this way. This, this sets a new standard in the industry, and in my opinion, it's even safer than hardware wallets. When Ledger got hacked and leaked all of its customer details, I had my private information exposed. And since then, I've, I'm constantly getting spammed by scammers all the time. Now, the last thing I really want to talk about is Caffeine AI, which is coming out in about four or five weeks. It's, on a, it's an AI that creates websites and apps on the fly through prompts. Since ICP hosts its own internets, your creations are instantly deployed on chain and with all the features native to ICP. This can actually pierce the mainstream in a way that crypto has been waiting for. This is the kind of product that's useful to everybody on the planet. There are too many bureaucrats and communists in the way to adopt crypto as a new money system, but with websites and apps, they probably won't have as much problem. There's over 5 billion people in the world with access to the internet, and with a service like Caffeine AI, they can create almost anything that they want just by texting. I've been playing around with it after getting an early access code, and it's a really powerful technology, I gotta say, and one that's only going to get better. Not to mention, it's the only way to vibe code where you'll be able to integrate 
uh, crypto payments and NFTs. So imagine all the creators on Pump Fund creating software that their coins can integrate into. This will cause a whole new mania. I'm not saying this is going to happen right away, but the crypto integrations are on the Caffeine AI roadmap. They're, they've been talking about it. So I'm going to end my video here. I'd like to thank Blockchain Pill for inspiring me to create content. I feel like there aren't enough influencers who are just talking about the tech and in layman terms for the retailer to understand. I'm never going to talk about price charts. I hate that stuff and I'm not good at it either. And plus, there's already a ton of people who are already doing that. I just want to talk about the narratives, the implication as ICP is a disruptive technology and uh, maybe dabble in some of the economics and politics of it. I come from a libertarian background, so freedom is the main reason why I'm interested in ICP. And uh, with, with that, I'm out. Thanks for watching my very first video. Bye.